This is the Keith Brooking Show, taped before a live audience from the Arlington Improv, located in the beautiful Arlington Highlands. Brought to you by Arlington Highlands, Snapple, Papa John's, Patterson Kia, and Rude. Okay, we are all relaxed after a very enjoyable bye week and we've all been soaking up this beautiful beautiful fall weather in North Texas but we are pumped and ready for Cowboys football again aren't we can we can we get back to a Cowboys game already and we're also pumped to talk all about it here on the Keith Brookings show for another week uh, welcome everybody who's here at the improv at arlington highlands thanks for coming out on this tuesday night and welcome to all you in tv land and thanks for watching on this sunday morning my name is steve dennis this is the second of four weeks uh, that the star of this show uh, will be out will miss uh, while he is away this star comes in and takes his place fellow linebacker Say hello to number 93, Anthony Spencer, right here. Hello, everyone. It's good to see everyone out. We got a nice crowd tonight. Look at this. Yeah. It's all for you. Yeah. I feel special. Uh, when you shut it down like you guys do for the bye week, and it came early this year, uh, and now you've got it, is it difficult to turn it back on? I mean, now you guys were only away for the weekend. You mm -hmm. worked last week, and you're back to work. But it's still... The intensity and focus is down a little bit during the bye week. Is it tough to gear back up? Uh, I wouldn't say it's really tough to gear back up, but you're, you're definitely down after you take a couple, three days off. You're not into the same, like if, after doing it for day in, day out for, I don't know, week after week. I mean, you get used to the, the monotony of it, but having these three days off is always good too, definitely. And did you watch any football? I watched a little bit of football. That, I mean, you always got to, I, I can't help it. <laughs> Even though I'm away from it, I always got to, I just see myself clicking on the TV, trying to check the scores or whatnot. Isn't that weird what. for you, though? Is it weird to watch football? Uh, no, not really. I like, I like watching my friends. I like seeing other people around the league, see what they're doing. I like, I just like watching, I like watching defense. I watch defense the most. I don't care who's playing as long as the defense winning. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we got a game to talk about, uh, this week on the show. We're very excited about the guests that Anthony Spencer has, has brought to us here at the improv tonight. Now that you know the way we do it here, don't tell us who it is. Give us <laughs> one sentence to, uh, give us a hint to describe your guest. He's just... Pro bowler. Just, just pro bowler. Just pro bowler, yeah. That's all, that's all he does. All right. The, now, that, that, that could be one of about long-term pro bowler, right? Uh, multiple pro bowler. Consistent pro bowler. Okay, that, that, could, <laughs> that could be one of about five guys. Yeah. One of about five guys. You figure it out, and he's Come next. On. Coming up with Anthony Spencer here on the Keith Brookings Show. Don't go away. We're excited. This segment was sponsored by Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. And Patterson Kia of Arlington. We deliver no-haggle, simplified pricing. Hi, I'm Keith Brookings, professional football player. During a game, when the competition heats up, I have to perform at the highest level. When the Texas weather heats up, your air conditioning system needs to do the same. Rude is rated number one by a leading consumer review magazine for reliability. They can use one third of the electricity of a conventional AC unit. Save thousands with tax credits, manufacturer rebates, and energy savings. Avoid the summer heat blitz with a new Rude AC unit. Tell them Keith Brookings sent you. Arlington Highlands. Whether it's celebrating your first win, first responsibility, First kiss. First really big purchase. First night out after the baby. Or your first invitation to game day. Arlington Highlands. Memories made here. I-20 and Matlock Road in Arlington. I, I just had a light bulb moment. By switching to Ambit Energy, I saved 30%. 30%? That would buy me a beautiful wedding ring. We'd have five or six kids, but we'd adopt like 15 or 16 from overseas. We'll start a soccer team. I'd be the hottest soccer mom in town after I have life section, of course. We'd have a different... Have your own light bulb moment. Switch to Ambit Energy and use your savings to buy, well, whatever you want. Call 800-NEW-RATE or log on to myambit.com. 
Patterson Kia of Arlington has perfected the pre-owned buying experience with the Patterson Perfect Pre-Owned, taking checked and certified to a whole new level. Every Patterson Perfect Pre-Owned is thoroughly checked by highly trained technicians using the most up-to-date diagnostic equipment, ensuring that the vehicle is in Patterson Perfect condition. Plus, with many of our pre-owned vehicles priced below $10,000, owning a Patterson Perfect Pre-Owned is more affordable than ever. Visit Patterson Kia of Arlington today and see for yourself why a Patterson Perfect Pre-Owned is a step above the rest. I got the pizza. My favorite. Let's do it. Joe's versus Papa begins. <laughs> Papa's in the house. Yeah, but this is my house. This season, everybody's hungry for the Cowboys Unlimited. Get a large Papa John's pizza with unlimited toppings and a Pepsi 2 liter for $10.99. <laughs> you want some of this? Nope, I'm good. This segment is sponsored by Symantec. Symantec, for confidence in a connected world. And Insight. Insight moves your technology goals forward. We are back at the Improv at Arlington Highlands for the Keith Brookings Show this week. Uh, number 93, Anthony Spencer, the star in Keith's place. And man, are we excited. Anthony, Anthony's guest, one of his best buddies on the team, his pass rushing partner. That's the sentence I would have given. Yeah. Introduce our guest, Anthony. Well, we have the consecutive Pro Bowler, yeah. uh, first round pick. Uh, <laughs> the list goes on and on. Uh, but my, my buddy and pal, <laughs> Mr. DeMarcus <laughs> Ware. <laughs> wow. Both number one picks sitting up here. Batman yeah. and Robin. Yeah. You guys had 17 sacks combined last year. That's a good number. It's all right. Yeah, DeMarcus had 20 by himself the yeah, year before. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, <"All> right. <laughs> so that's not good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, since I've started with this, uh, you've got four already in three games between the two of you. You got three against Houston. Although that last one, I mean, that was kind of like. You know, a, let me tell you something. Wasn't that like a touchdown? You guys were racing to touch him down. <laughs> tell him first. <laughs> I touched him first. That's what happened. <laughs> I touched him first, but he jumped on him. Yeah. Like he, I mean, he, he, he surges out the sacks, no doubt. He's all over it all the time. So whenever he's around, you gotta watch out for him because he, he gets in there. Well, what he does is he'll go into his his oh, hands. Yeah. You have to do it. You got to. Yeah, where they you can't got, change I mean, it, even though it's your side. Well, Demarcus did the. Dance. It's all. It's all good. It so, comes. It comes back around. It comes back around. We were talking about it uh, earlier this week, actually. That didn't upset you. You didn't go. Come on, man. That was me. That was all me. The funny thing about it is, like, right after the game, right when we got back to the locker room, he's like, "I told you. I told you." I was like, <laughs> "Like, right, right, like, soon as we got to the locker room, we do it." So I was just like, "It I is told, what it is." I told Spencer. I said. Spence, I've been in the league a little bit longer. I'm telling you, it's the guy that touches him first. I mean, so if a quarterback runs out of bounds and you just touch him or you in the vicinity where the quarterback is, they'll give you a sack if he's not across the line of scrimmage. So the guy ducked down and Spencer tried to, like, kill him and, like, you know, <laughs> like, jump on him, right? And he fell on the ground, so I was like, Oop. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> you know, Spencer was like, no, I hit him. I was like, uh -uh. Yeah. It was me. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. All right, we got a lot of football to talk about. You guys didn't do a darn thing this weekend. And in your case, all you did was lay around. Mm -hmm. And you gained ground in the division. That was awesome. Man, you good. guys are that good. That was awesome. That is great. You yeah. guys are good. We're going to talk about that, plus Vince Young, Texas Longhorns. Yeah! Vince Young is next for you guys, which could be a problem for pass rushers because he doesn't pass it. We're going to talk about that, too, <laughs> no, here, on, here, on, <laughs> here on the Keith Brookings Show with Anthony and D-Ware. Don't go away. This segment was sponsored by Carter Eye Center, the official LASIK surgery center of the Dallas Cowboys and the Arlington Highlands. Shop, dine, work, play. Stay at the Arlington Highlands. What you doing? Snapple stuff. Hey. What's that stuff? Give me that stuff. Have you seen this stuff? Dying stuff? That stuff's the best. Didn't we find better stuff? Same stuff, just dying. Hmm. There's stuff going on. Why don't they tell me this stuff? Jim, what's the deal with this stuff? All right, look, everyone. Diet Snapple's made with the same stuff. Healthy green tea, tasty black tea. This is just zero-calorie stuff. 
Bingo. Healthy green tea, tasty black tea, zero calories. I love this stuff. Snapple, the best diet stuff on earth. Hi, I'm Keith Brooking, professional football player. During a game, when the competition heats up, I have to perform at the highest level. When the Texas weather heats up, your air conditioning system needs to do the same. Root is rated number one by a leading consumer review magazine for reliability. They can use one third of the electricity of a conventional AC unit. Save thousands with tax credits, manufacturer rebates, and energy savings. Avoid the summer heat blitz with a new Root AC unit. Tell them Keith Brooking sent you. It happened again today. Three times for me this week alone. They're just so awesome. Just when you thought it was safe to eat a taco. Fuzzy's Taco Shop. Welcome to your new addiction. Eat me. We can't believe how well this is working. People talk about how hard it is to get a house and all the trouble you have to go through. You don't have to go through all that trouble if you're talking with the right people. People always say it's who you know. Well, HMS is the people you need to talk to and that's who you need to know because they've taken care of us. We called, we came in for the evaluation that same day. They were like, you qualify them for this much, you can get a house. And we were calling everybody we knew at that point, like, we're gonna get a house. If you're like me, you need lots of furniture for an entire apartment, but you're a little short on cash. Well, I got this and this and this all for this at the Court Furniture Clearance Center. That's all this for this. It's the Court Furniture Clearance Center Apartment to Go Collection. A complete bedroom, living room, and dining room. Beautiful designer furniture like new. Back from corporate lease. All for one low price. Hurry to Court Furniture Clearance Center while supplies last. Book your perfect getaway now. Wait until the last minute to save. Lock in the best pricing right now for the vacation of your choice with Apple Vacations. Turn fantasies into realities in Mexico, including air, hotel, all meals and drinks. For the right advice and best price, ask an agent. Hurry, best dates and hotels are going fast. This segment is sponsored by Snapple. Snapple, made from the best stuff on earth. And Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. All right, we are back at the Improv at Arlington Highlands with Pass Rushing Incorporated up here on the Keith Brookings Show. It's Anthony Spencer, number 93, and number 94 right next to him, Demarcus Ware. Uh, every Tuesday night, we tape the Keith Brookings Show here at the Improv at Arlington Highlands, although... Next week will be outside by the Black Fin, but that's twice a year, but we'll tell you about that later. And every Sunday at 9.30, right here on TXA 21, and thanks for joining us. All right, let's get back to what we were talking about a minute ago. You guys gain ground in the division with your feet up. That is a good off day's work, that's is it great. not? That is great. It was my best off day. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I never gained anything during an off day. You surprised before, so. that Washington beat the Eagles? No, nah, I mean, any, not really. No, not at all. Just because it's always, it was, I knew it was going to be a good game. Even if Michael Vick would have been in there longer, it probably would have been a better game. But uh, for the most part, I mean, whenever an NFC t East team is playing each other, anybody could win. So you really can't be surprised by the outcome. You either? Not surprised? Not at all. I mean, Washington's a good team. They could become a little pesky. Yeah, uh, they can be. They've already got two division wins, yeah. one over you guys mm -hmm. in the opener. McNabb, Shanahan, I mean, they were 4-12 last year. Everybody kind of wrote them off a little bit. They could yeah. be pesky before this is over. Hope not. You guys yeah, owe so them they got, they got to come back to Dallas, though. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I don't, on this show, we're honest. That's yeah. the way we do it. Did you guys scare yourselves a little bit? You have expectations. Okay, the, the heck with fans, the heck with media. You're, you guys have your own expectations of what you know you can be this year. When you started the way you started, how much did you spook yourselves? I don't think really anyone on the team got spooked just because when we watched the film, it was always just the little things that we were messing up on, like things we could have corrected, like we could have did during the week that we could have, like, to get rid of like the things that happened in the game, we like we could have we we could have got rid of the things that 
having the game during pr week, uh, practice that week. And just by seeing that on film and being able to come back and do the things in practice and come back and get a win the next week, it, I mean, it, it, it was definitely a learning process for us. I think we, it helped us out. It will help us out in the long run, definitely. Yeah, it's a learning deal. Now you guys know you don't want to go back to that, right? So you can, it always comes up to you the rest of the season. Yeah, cause I mean, when you when you go back to uh, training camp, you know San Antonio and you know Oxnard, we weren't playing against the same team. You know, I mean, we play we practice against each other in, in, in practice. You know, against the offense and defense, and it, there wasn't the same offense that was out there, right. you know, beating us up. You know, and they're they're not beating up opposing teams, and that's not the same defense that when we was you know all over our own offense, we weren't playing like that. We were making a lot of mistakes. You know, having 12 penalties a game, mm -hmm. a lot of false starts. So that comes with, you know, are you really focused or not before the game? Do, or are you really serious about this? And I think, you know, that's what it all boiled down to. And, and now guys are like, hey, if we don't, you know, get things in line and get serious about this, yeah. this is what's going to happen. It, it doesn't matter, you know, how many, you know, good names you have on the team is if you want to play or not if you want to be a team player. All right, let's, uh, let's uh, come back and have a little bit more fun and talk a little bit about Tennessee the next game. We get to talk about an opponent again, which is good. Vince Young is headed this way, and Chris Johnson. He's headed this way quickly. Oh, yeah, he'll get I here fast. I think he does everything fast. <laughs> he'll, get, he'll get here fast. This is the Keith Brookings Show with Anthony and d -Ware. We're back in a minute. This segment was sponsored by Court Furniture. Wherever you're heading, we'll be there. And Patterson Kia of Arlington. We deliver no-haggle simplified pricing. Patterson Kia of Arlington has perfected the pre-owned buying experience with the Patterson Perfect Pre-Owned, taking checked and certified to a whole new level. Every Patterson Perfect Pre-Owned is thoroughly checked by highly trained technicians using the most up-to-date diagnostic equipment, ensuring that the vehicle is in Patterson Perfect condition. Plus, with many of our pre-owned vehicles priced below $10,000, owning a Patterson Perfect Pre-Owned is more affordable than ever. Visit Patterson Kia of Arlington today and see for yourself why a Patterson Perfect Pre-Owned is a step above the rest. Arlington Highlands. Whether it's celebrating your first win, first responsibility, first kiss, first really big purchase, first night out after the baby, or your first invitation to game day, Arlington Highlands. Memories made here. I-20 and Matlock Road in Arlington. If you're like me, you need lots of furniture for an entire apartment, but you're a little short on cash. Well, I got this and this and this all for this at the Court Furniture Clearance Center. That's all this for this. It's the Court Furniture Clearance Center Apartment to Go Collection. A complete bedroom, living room, and dining room. Beautiful designer furniture like new. Back from corporate lease. All for one low price. Hurry to Court Furniture Clearance Center while supplies last. <laughs> my dad is so embarrassing. You should see what my dad bought with his savings. Have your own light bulb moment. Switch to Ambit Energy and use your savings to buy, well, whatever you want. Call 800 New Rate or log on to myambit.com and save up to 30% on your electricity bill. It happened again today. Three times for me this week alone. They're just so awesome. Just when you thought it was safe to eat a taco. Fuzzy's Taco Shop. Welcome to your new addiction. Eat me. This segment is sponsored by Symantec. Symantec for confidence in a connected world. And Insight. Insight moves your technology goals forward. Okay, we're back. We're back. We are going to talk about Vince Young and the Tennessee Titans here momentarily. But first, Anthony Spencer uh, is going to give me a break. He has some questions for D-Ware. And I oh, man. guarantee you, <laughs> I guarantee you they'll be better than mine. Go, man. All right, D. Uh, what would you end up doing with your, your bye week? That's a big question. Um, I, a lot of people don't know that I'm, a, I'm an avid fisherman. And so I went down to uh, Port Mansfield, and they had a, a trout fishing tournament down there. 
I, I wasn't able to get in the tournament because I didn't, you know, really know that they had one. So I trailed the guys that actually won the tournament. I caught nine trout, and they caught a big trout like this big and won the tournament. So I felt like I won. <laughs> <laughs> so um, You did the sack dance? I, I was about to. I was about to grab the fish and this, you know. <laughs> but I didn't do that. So that's what I did this weekend. Yeah. Where is Troy at? Yeah, like? Troy's in, uh, it's actually in Troy, Alabama. It's in, I call it L.A. It's the real L.A., lower Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so um, I, it's it's right there by um, not um, it's right by Panama City by the water. So just I should go down there and fish. Not good fishing, but you just whatever you can catch, it comes out of there. So you got the golf right there. And I, I, I don't know about the golfing part. Oh, the golf. No, golf. You got the golf right <laughs> I don't know about the yeah, golfing part. Golf. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out why you call it L.A. So the golf is, is sort of your Pacific Lower, Ocean. Yeah, Lower Alabama. I got you. I got yeah. Lower Alabama, yeah. L.A. Oh, that's it. I like that. Yeah, that's, that's I like that. I like that. <laughs> I thought you meant it was so hip it was like Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah. That's L.A. too, but that's not the real L.A. <laughs> you got another one? Uh... I mean, how did you end up being a first-round pick? When I first saw you being on the, in the Pro Bowls, I was in, still in college or whatnot, but how did you end up being where you are, coming from such a small place as like Troy? Like, not, not a lot of people heard of it. So how, how did you end up where you are right now? Um, I think, yeah, I mean, when I, when I first got, came to Troy, they uh, draft, I was a route receiver in, uh, in uh, high school, and, and they drafted me as just an athlete. So they said, you know, DeMarcus, we're going to stick you at defensive end. So I'm thinking, like, man, I'm mm -hmm. 195. I'm not, like, 250, <laughs> 360 like those big guys. And they said, the only thing I want you to do is just run around the big guys and get to the quarterback. And I said, oh, man, how am I going to do that? So they killed me, like, the first couple of years. And, you know, so I worked hard and uh, lifted a little bit of weights and got, you know, bigger and stronger. And I sort of perfected that, you know, started perfecting myself at doing that. But... Um, and then, like, each year, you know, I just got better. I got, I got better at it. And then uh, all of a sudden, I was up with Marcus Spears and, like, um, Pollard from Georgia and all those guys. And I'm like, man, those are big-time guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to be good as them, you know? And so they said, DeMarcus, we're going to, you know, send you to the Senior Bowl, which is, like, the big, you know, college bowl at the, the end of the season. So I played with those guys, and I ended up being a starter. And they said, I, I don't think he still can play. And so I started getting really mad. And, I, and they invited me to the combine. And I, and I promised myself, I said, you know, if they give me this opportunity, you know, and also just putting God first, I'm, I'm going to be, you know, the, the, the top person taken in this draft. And I promise you, God, if you give me this opportunity, I'm not going to let you down. And that's what I did. And when I got there, oh, I was so focused. I mean, guys were like, man, I'm big time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I I'm not going to work out mm -hmm. today. Uh, DeMarc, you can go ahead and work out. You're a little low time guy. I'm thinking in my mind, oh, man, y'all just don't understand. That's sort of the way. <laughs> hey. I said, said y'all just don't understand what y'all have gotten yourself into. That's I mean. sort of the way Spence asked the question. You know, the big guy, big shot from Purdue, the big, big guy. <laughs> He's a big time guy. Yeah. He's going, how did you saying. become so good from little Troy? <laughs> Boy, that's kind of what he was asking, I think, wasn't it? I didn't mean it like that at all. No. no. So, so I went from a six round, a six round draft pick to uh, a first round draft pick, eleven round. I'm gonna say first round, eleven pick in the draft. And uh, didn't start playing football till your junior year of high school. Yeah. My gosh. All right, we got yep. two stats I got to throw at you about the Tennessee Titans here. First one involves Vince Young. Only 71 pass attempts in four games. That's the fewest of any starting quarterback in the league. <laughs> now, don't you guys hate that? You're playing a quarterback that doesn't throw the football this weekend. So what do you guys do? Just look pretty out there? Or what? <laughs> huh? Yeah, I try to make plays other ways. I mean, <laughs> whenever, whenever they're not passing the ball, the ball's still on the field. So usually I try to make plays other ways. I mean, they, they, they're going to they're gonna have to try to score points somehow. This, he's going to have to drop back sooner or later, too. So I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, playing against them just because they have a a very fast team. I mean, that's probably something we really haven't seen that yet this year. So it's, it's going to be good for our defense to see it, definitely. And it's not that you guys aren't good against the run, because you are, but, but it takes a little bit of the fun away from you, doesn't it, DeMarcus, when you got to worry about containing Vince instead of just going to take his head off? You know what the thing is? You still can take his head off. Because he, <laughs> the, the weird thing is now, instead of him dropping back and throwing the ball, he actually has the ball and he's running it. Yeah. So you actually can hit him. 
So usually he's like, oh, I'm throw the ball to Marcus, watch out. Yeah. You know, yeah, no, now himself. he's like, huh, I'm coming to you. I'm trying to run you over and you. <laughs> you, <pop him." laughs> you know, it's, uh-huh. a, it's, it's a little bit different now. So He's big fella. He's he's a big guy. We face, we face big guys every day. Yeah. 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 He's not as big <laughs> as you. All right, the other stat, the Titans. Now, this surprised me when I ran across this. The Titans have won 10 straight, 10 straight games against the NFC. That is shocking. Isn't that weird? Yeah. That is, that's shocking. They're just kicking the NFC's butt here lately. They haven't lost to an NFC team since 07. Yeah. I mean, How about that? Jeff Fisher, he's a, he's a really good head coach. I mean, he gets those guys ready. They win a lot of games on special teams and whatnot, too. So yeah. they, they, they come ready to play every week. I mean, he has them always hyped up and ready to go. Him and Wade uh, coached together in Philly. In fact, I didn't know that. Coach Fisher was under Wade. Wade was the defensive coordinator in Philly. Coach Fisher was secondary coach, I think. So he's his boss. I think Something I read like that. that. I could be. I could have just made that up. <laughs> so that, that means you that they won't really coach. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't. And real quick, Rangers fans, are you Rangers fans? Yeah. Uh, sure, I am. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh, this is Tuesday night. Rangers start their first postseason play in 11 years tomorrow. By the time you're watching it here on TXA, let's see, it'll be time for game four Sunday afternoon. Uh, you pay attention to the Rangers rooting for A little them? bit, yeah. Yeah? Actually, my first hat, people, it, it was weird. I was in, in the locker room. I had purchased my first hat. It was a Rangers hat. I said, well, it's a baseball hat. I'm going to get a nice baseball team. Oh, DeMarcus, you're a Rangers Big fan Rangers. now because they're in playoffs now. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's what I was I said. I didn't even really know I'm not paying attention to it, you know? <laughs> You but know, what a day that's going to be Sunday. Yes, it is. I mean, you're gonna, they're going to be playing right next door at yeah. the same time. Yep, congrats. You enough. guys in the stadium, them over in their stadium. Oh, my God. Got to get there at 6 in the morning. Yeah. You want to get there at 6? Got to avoid that traffic. Yep. Got to get up and avoid that traffic. All right, uh, I got to do a couple of things. You get ready to say goodbye in the Anthony Spencer way here. Let me thank you, DeMarcus, for being here. Appreciate thank it very much. I want to thank all you for coming to the Improv here at Arlington Highlands. Uh, Trey Ballou, the, gen- the general manager here. Ray Salinas, of course. Becky Wally with Sports Media. Ted on the audio. Brandon back there in charge of production. Uh, enjoy the game today. Good to have Cowboys football back. And now here's Anthony Spencer to say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs> That's it. Thank, thanks, for, thanks for coming out, everybody. I, I enjoyed your company. And thanks for coming to you wear. It's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure with you, too, of course. Enjoy the game. <laughs> See ya. Close captioning provided by Genghis Grill. Genghis Grill, the Mongolian stir fry where you build your own bowl. Transportation provided by A Vision Limousine. Limousines for all occasions. The Keith Brooking Show is sponsored by the Arlington Highlands. Snapple. Papa John's. Patterson Kia. And Rude. Inside the Huddle is a production of Sports Media. Video production by Gridiron Films.